hope you're well and you had a good day and that you rested and all is well with you in Jesus name um, I wanted to come on and just um, encourage and pray and so uh, let's pray Lord I thank you for this day we praise you Lord we thank you for your presence and your power Thank you for your presence and your power and preservation, Lord. We love you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Know today that he is with you. God is with you. His mercy and his loving kindness endure forever. His mercy and his loving kindness endure forever. You know, and as long as there's breath in your body and, you know, you have the heart to want to live for the Lord, you can and will, you know, align with the Lord, be forgiven as you turn to the Lord. You know, you're not too far gone if you're someone that you think, you know, when you think that maybe you're too far gone and you've maybe used to be a Christian and maybe now you've strayed away, maybe, or you're someone that doesn't know the Lord yet, you feel convicted maybe that you feel you want to know the Lord but don't know how to go about, you know, uh, drawing close to him and being close to him. Just be encouraged today to that, you know, one heart, heart, I always say this, the one heartfelt prayer, that one heartfelt prayer to the Lord changes everything. And it's just to turn and follow him and lead, let him lead you and go his way as he leads you. Look into his word and you know, he's the, you know, the shepherd. He's the, we're the sheep of his pasture. You know, we're the sheep of his pasture. And he's our shepherd. And he's faithful. And he said he will forgive. If we, if we come to the Lord with all our hearts, he said he will forgive us. And that he no longer remembers our sin when we repent with all our hearts. So be encouraged today to know that it's not too late for you. You know, Maybe, um, you know, you think, okay, maybe you've done something that, you know, um, that's, you know, maybe you can't come back to the Lord. You know, that you've done something, you've delved into something that's not of God and you think, okay, but I did this and I know now I've done that and I can't go or, or be with the Lord, you know. As, long as, as I said before, as long as there's breath in your body, you can repent and say sorry to the Lord and follow Jesus. You can live for Jesus. You can turn back to Jesus. You know, it's not too late for you. You know, maybe you're someone that's tampered with things like that are, that are not of God into things that are, you know, of the dark side, like selling your soul and th things like that. You know, it's not too late. You can turn to Jesus. You can say, Lord, I repent. As soon as you say that, there's a change, there's a shift, it changes everything. That one heartfelt prayer, like I said before, you say, Lord, I repent and I've turned to you, Lord God, and renounce all, um, everything that's not of you. Name those things and then turn to Jesus. And know that he's going to preserve you, he's going to protect you. You know, you have that, you have that still on the table. You know, he will abundantly pardon and forgive. You know, be encouraged today to know that he loves you. He's right there listening, watching, you know, waiting for us to return back to him. And that's including me. You know, even Christians get it wrong. As in, like, even we need to be forgiven. As in, like, straying away in our hearts. We're saying this before, you know, but we can stray away in our hearts. You know, we've all been there. You know, where we actually need, need to return to the Lord because we've, straight away somehow without even knowing without even feeling it we can do that so we all need to come before the lord every day and repent afresh for the things that we do because we're not perfect we're human we, we go out there we see things we shouldn't see sometimes things think and from that think things that you're not meant to think because things are in your face and it's like so hard to be holy in such a um anti-christ society now which it really it is, it is really you know you know it's not very it's hard isn't it to 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 live separate from the world when we're in it but we're in the world not of the world and the lord empowers us by his holy spirit to live holy we can do all things in christ who strengthens us but what i'm trying to say is that we get that fight every christian gets the fight 
you know, to to uh, stay separate to the world, to keep our mind clean, to to uh, stay away from things that are not of God, even though things are right there in your face, everything's all around, you know, it's it's every day coming to the Lord afresh and, and you know, and repenting, and some people, some people might think, okay, but we've repented once and that's enough, and I'm not saying that's not enough, I'm saying that when we sin, that when we go wrong, we come before God, and we can do that in thought, we can do it in, without even realising, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, when we repent, we're forgiven, full stop. But when we sin, we need to repent for that sin. So it could be something like, I don't know, a thought or something, you know, you've seen or watched, you shouldn't see or watch, and you've not even meant to do it, but then you're going away and all these like images are coming into your mind. You know, let's be real, these are the real things that happen. You know, we get that every day. You know, the things that are so there, you know and so yeah just coming before the lord and just you know you know his mercies are renewed every morning and we just come before him and with confidence you know to the throne of grace you know and confidently and and with that holy fear in our hearts and repent and come before god and he will abundantly pardon and forgive us he will abundantly pardon and forgive us as long as we have that heart you know to want to turn and forgive to also to want to turn to him and ask for forgiveness you know and so be encouraged today to know that it's not too late to know that he loves you that abba father abba father god his arms are open to you he loves you dearly and wants to hold you wants you back if you're one of the sheep of the fold of christ who have fell away and strayed away you know come back into the arms of the lord I know that he loves you and he's right there waiting for you with open arms. In Jesus' name.